This is the grade 7 math practice test for TN Ready. Currently, we're on question number 14. Shirts are on sale for 30% off. The original price of one shirt was $15. What is the total cost in dollars of two shirts at the sale price, including a 7% sales tax? A couple things that you have to know ahead of time. Number one, you can go ahead and add the prices of the two original shirts and then apply the 30% discount to that number, or you could handle the shirts individually. You have that option in both cases. The other thing that you have to realize is the 7% sales tax goes on whatever the sale price is, not the original price. You don't apply 7% sales tax to $15 if you're not paying $15. It's whatever you end up paying. There are a few ways to figure out what you need to do to get 30% of 15 What you might do is say, okay, it's two shirts, and they're on sale for 30% off, so I may go ahead and just convert this to 30. So 15 times 2, or 15 plus 15. So this is my total pre-discount price. It's 30 bucks. The reason that you might want to do that is it makes the next step maybe a little easier. If I am going to get 30% off, I need to figure out how much that means I'm going to pay. So 100 minus 30 gives me 70. So I'm going to do 70% of 30. In order to do percentages, of course, you're going to move the decimal over a couple places and make it 0.7. So in order to get this part, I can do 30 times 0 0.7. And that will help me figure out how much I'm going to pay for the two shirts. That was pretty easy to do in terms of the calculator because this is a calculator allowed section. If you want to do it that way, that's fine. I mean, choose your own adventure. You have access to it. If you want to use it, use it. I'm not here to judge your life. So I do 30 times 0.7. And I get 21. The thing you want to be leery of is if the number is really small. If you're only getting 30% off and somehow you get some math that tells you, well, okay, I'm paying, you know, $9 for it, you've probably calculated 30% of $30 and not the 70%. So you can make that adjustment later on if you wanted to do uh, 30 times 0 0.3 to get that 30%, that would give you 9, but you need to subtract that 9 to get to that 21. So here's the place we're trying to get to. Another quick way to do it, and I like to show you as many ways as I possibly can, I'll actually leave this math over here because I think it's likely what you'll end up doing more often than not if you're going to solve for it. But if I want to know, so say I have $30. This is how I calculate sort of tips and things in my head when you go out to eat. If I'm doing 30% off, it makes sense. Well, like, what's 10% of... 30. So I'm starting with 30. If I want 10%, I just move the decimal to 1. So 10% of 30 is equal to 3. If I have 30%, that would be 3 10 percents. So I would just do 3 times 3 is 9. And then there's my value of what 30% off looks like. And I just do 30 minus 9 gives me 21. So you can do it in a number of ways. If you wanted to change this to 70 and do 10% of 30 is 3, 3 times 7 is 21, that will get you directly to the 21. Plenty of ways to get there. Find the one that works for you and just kind of work that one the most as you prepare. Doing 75 different methods may be confusing. Find the one method that works for you. Now that we're here, we just have to make sure that we pay sales tax. The most annoying thing that you can do is get to this point and say that 7% is the equivalent of 0.7 because it is not. 70% sales tax is a lot, a lot, a lot. Remember, to do a percentage, you need to shift that decimal point over twice. So it is 0 0.07. So now I need to do my original value plus whatever 7% of 21 is. So I'm just going to do 21 times 0 0.07. Because that'll make everything easier. This is my original amount. This is my additional amount. 
if you were super like ready to move into high school level mathematician, you might even do this. So you skip this whole part and you would do 21 times 1.07 because then you would be doing 21 times 1, which is this, and you'd be doing 21 times 0.07 and it would automatically add those together and you would feel great about your life and then wonder why did I bother. It's just a practice test. It's not that serious. So if I can get my calculator back up here, I'll be in good shape. Ah, uh, here we are. So, 21 plus 21 times 0.07 gives me a final value of $22.47. And that's how much I'll pay. Now, just to show you that other thing really does work out the way that I said it did. I hate making a proclamation and then not giving you any sort of proof. There you go. So there it is. They want to know what's the total cost in dollars of two of these shirts at the sale price, including a 7% sales tax, $22.47. And that is it.